So with Facebook fight pages, is there really actually anything that can be done to stop them popping up? No, not, not to stop them actually being activated or, or created because um, most of, uh, and using Facebook obviously because it's the largest social networking site out there, um, as an example, it's, um, it's all automated. So any, any Facebook page that's created initially will never actually looked at, be looked at by a physical person. So it, it's almost impossible to stop them being created and, it, and, and it's usually anywhere between a couple of days or even sometimes weeks before they're even seen or even identified by a physical person working at, at Facebook. So it's a different process between identifying uh, fight videos and, and photographs of fighting as opposed to, say, nudity, which we see a lot of complaints about women having their breastfeeding photos taken down because it contravenes nudity. Yep, yep. Um, what, what a lot of people don't know is Facebook have a little piece of software on their um, on their network that any any nudity or any uh, sexual sort of uh, movement or, or imagery actually goes through just a, this piece of software and it'll get identified um, by a number of algorithms or um, just scripts and and and, uh, and the way that program is written and it'll be pulled out or identified by the software and then sent through to a moderator. Now they'll look at those images or that video and uh, they'll make a decision or a physical person make a decision in regards to whether it's appropriate. It could be just someone at a, I don't know, at a, at a beach in their, in their un underwear or bikini. Um, so they'll allow that through. But if it's sexual nudity and, and as you allude to the breastfeeding, then they might say, well, we don't think that's appropriate. It's in breach of our policy. So we won't allow it on our site. But with our fighting videos, there's nothing within that sort of uh, software or within those guidelines that really breach those specific policies. So this is why a lot of these videos are getting on and uh, why, as I said, it's you might get parents complain or schools complain to Facebook and it's not until a, a number of days later that they may actually get, get removed. So it requires a critical mass to get this, these sort of pages in front of the uh, moderators. Yeah, it's um, anywhere I think over 20, 21 um, reports or blocks before someone at, at Facebook will actually look at it. Now, I mean, there's only, well, there's what, two point, um, almost two billion people actually using the network at the moment on Facebook and there's, there's only five um, or four and a half thousand people who actually work at Facebook and that's, that's a remarkable amount of people considering how many uh, people are using the network uh, compared to how few people work there. So, uh, and obviously the marketing and, and how much money is pumped in and, and through network as a network, it's it wouldn't be that many people are actually working on moderation of the site. So, the the, the chances um, of of a, a fight page or um, or something that's not really looked upon as uh, kosher, I suppose, by the general population, it could take. Quite a, quite a while, if not never, to actually been seen by a moderator and removed. That's where it gets very frustrating, especially for parents and, and schools, that it's, it almost appears like nothing's being done when um, it's just, it just can't be because of the mass uh, that's coming through that network. Does it surprise you that the uh, Perth Fights Facebook page has just mm. resurfaced as is after being dumped in as its original form and then we saw yep. it come back as Perth Fights 2.0. Are you actually yep. surprised it's just come back as original? No, not really. It's um, And again, it's just it's got to go through all that process again now. So uh, there would have been a number of complaints about the page that finally would have got to a moderator at Facebook. They would have assessed it, um, deemed it to probably be inappropriate and removed it. But... That, that could have taken anywhere between, um, I don't know, th three or four days right up to a couple of weeks. So, whereas it's very easy to create a, a page, um, that can be done in only a few minutes. So, so now it's got to go through that entire process again. People sort of assume, well, I've already reported on that page, but but they, they can't get caught up in the, in the mistaken belief that, hold on, it's, this is now a completely different entity. It's a new entity now, so you've got to go through the whole process again. And this is where people get quite frustrated with Facebook in regards to, well, if I did it last time, why do I have to do it again? But unfortunately, the way it's designed, um, this is what you've got to do. You've just got to keep hammering these pages. And it's frustrating um, because we, we used to do the same when I was working at uh, 
had to police up a technology crime and no sooner you close one page down that um, especially bullying pages and stuff like that vilification pages and the next day literally it's it's a new one you've got to go through that whole process again it's very frustrating well, talk about the content and the way it's displayed. I mean, a lot of people just ring up and say, look, it's just harmless scrapping between you know two kids in the playground. Is there anything really wrong with that? But the, the images and videos show clearly outnumbered beatings and they show mm. fights mm. happening within shopping centres. Mm. What would your argument to the people who say, oh, just leave it alone, it's just kids having a bit of a scrap? And it's, this is where it gets very difficult as well. And we look at the corporate side of things or we look at the, um, not so much the right to know, but uh, in the US, obviously, where, the, where Facebook is run, they have very liberal uh, freedom of information laws and they're very protective of the information they're sharing. And even though these pages may be being posted in Australia, um, the governance on those laws are still working within the US. So they're very protective of what they put on and, and the right for people to know or to see and and as a result of that they're um that they have some very strict guidelines that they adhere to and and that that works both ways in the regards and we talk about the breastfeeding they'll they'll say well no that can't go on yet they're happy to throw on um a fights page but they look at it quite differently in the fact that well there's um it's just a fight um, it doesn't appear that anyone's been seriously injured. So they'll look at it in, in that way that, um, yes, if they're underage, they might make consideration there in removing it. But then they'll, their argument will also be, well, hold on, we've got a whole pile of uh, UFC fighting. We've got a whole pile of um, kickboxing and martial arts on, on Facebook. So... So what's the difference? And, and they believe that argument's justified to a degree. But there's clearly a difference between an organised event such as yep. UFC or boxing and kids ganging up and, and beating on one particular child and then posting that on the internet. Yeah, but, but the, again, they, they fall on the, the moral obligation, I suppose, to the people to post and, and to record and, and almost hoping to a degree, I, I'd expect that avenues or, or things are being put in place in, at where that video may have been taken or or with those particular people that um, efforts have been made for their welfare and, and all that sort of stuff. So that they, their main concern is the fact that, OK, well, if someone's prepared to post this, then um, as long as it doesn't breach our guidelines, then then we're, we're OK with it being displayed. So this is where, again, we come into the sort of the moral side of things where um, you'd think it'd be inappropriate. But, uh, again, it's just a matter of um, trying to identify... Who 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 uh, governs? I suppose that that morality in regards to uh, who makes those decisions, and this is again where most of the frustration comes in is is people assume that a, a person at Facebook looks at everything, um, every video, every photo, every post, but it, it just doesn't happen that way. So it, even though the site itself may appear to be acting immorally because they're being posted, it doesn't necessarily mean that. Um, that, that those particular videos have actually been physically seen by a person and we need to remember that because it's, it, it's, it's quite important at how, how the network actually works and how a lot of the stuff goes on that may never actually ever been seen. Well, I'll ask you to put your police hat on again for just a, just a moment <laughs> after yep. uh, 20 years in the force and five uh, dealing with these sort of issues. Yep. What are what is the criminality? Is there any potential potential criminality that can come from, uh, firstly, the material that is shown, i.e., can kids be charged with fighting and causing yep. public uh, disturbance, and is there any potential for a criminal charge against the person who is uh, aggregating all these videos together? No, no. I mean it's. We've got to, especially if it's in the public domain. Uh, any any person can public, uh, sorry, film any anything in public, um, as long as it's uh, obviously not a, a private act in regards to obviously people having showers at public change rooms and all that sort of stuff. I mean, of course, that's that's speaks for itself. But if there's a fight at a lo local shopping centre, uh, a young fella decides to film it and he thinks that's cool and he whacks it on Facebook, then there's no level at all there in, in any, any act to sort of have them charged. 
As far as the kids go, uh, or the people who are fighting, uh, then yeah, we, we can look at um, nothing to do with uh, technology-related crime, but you've got to look at local crime or, or um, local acts in regards to uh, fighting in public and disorderly conduct and all that sort of stuff. But um, no, there's unfortunately there's very limited legislation, and this is one of the big frustrations uh, in the time that I was a police officer at Tech Crime. Uh, the very limited legislation that is available to police in, in regards to these sort of peripheral um, incidents, if you get what I mean, Paul. So yeah. um, it's very frustrating because... Uh, but what about, sorry to interrupt you, Paul, but what about yeah. failure to report a crime? Well, we, we don't really have that type of legislation to cover um, those particular incidents. Um, it's... And again, it's it's really those sort of situations where um, it's the most uh, sort of serious crimes where people have an obligation to report, um, especially once they've known it, a crime has been committed. The problem we have with a lot of these fights um, videos is a lot of their kids just they, they're unaware that it, it may be a crime or it may be an offence to fight like this in public and. And uh, so it's really difficult to sort of put that onus back on them to report when they don't believe that uh, an offence has actually been committed. So, um, yeah, it's very hard to sort of jump up and down on those sort of, that sort of legislation, unfortunately. It's, Facebook is a very frustrating site, just the way that it's been designed. It's, it's a networking marvel. Um, I wish I'd thought of it, <laughs> uh, but, but um, because I'd be a billionaire, but... Um, as a result of that, it's it's just turned into a massive giant, and 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 our especially our teens, um, that they just don't realise how much of an impact it does have or can have on their on their world, and and something as simple as filming a fight um, just has huge ramifications, especially if one of the kids who's fighting has been seriously hurt or or is a victim of bullying or something like that just the ramifications for the family and friends and, and peers. It's just horrible to see. So but I, I can't see it ever stopping, unfortunately, and that's a horrible thing to say. But um, un until, until our networks start taking a bit more responsibility in regards to the content that's on these sites, um, which I, I can't see happening in the near future, really, realistically schools, parents, legislators, police, um, you, you're going to be bashing your head up against a brick wall and, and until that changes there's really not much unfortunately many people can do.